I'm not interested in a government position. And I'll tell you the reasons why I'm not interested in a government position. I've had many people who have approached me and spoken to me about uh, taking up a position in government or taking up a position in uh, ZANU PF. Very, 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 very uh, influential people, people close to the president who have come and approached me. For the past year, this story has been spoken about, and I've been very clear that I'm not interested in working for government. I have given my reasons why I'm not interested in working for government. Number one, government of Zimbabwe is under sanctions. It does not have financial resources. Therefore, it cannot pay the kind of money that I would want if I was to leave everything that I do and my business to go and work in government. This I know because I've already been offered a position in 2019 in a very strategic ministry and I refused because they would not be able to, they could not offer me what I wanted then. I believe that nothing has changed from then to now, so I would not take a government position then and I will not take a government position now. Number two, me and the government of Zimbabwe differ fundamentally on very important and fundamental issues. So if I'm going to be a communicator of government, but I differ with the principle of re-engagement, how am I going to be a communicator in government? It's impossible. I don't believe in re-engagement. And because I don't believe in re-engagement, it would not make sense for me to accept a position in communication when I don't believe in re-engagement and I'll have to be re-engaging with people that I see as enemies of my country. I believe that uh, the Europeans and some of the people that uh, our government is re-engaging with are people that uh, pose a threat to the government of Zimbabwe, to our future, and so therefore it would be so difficult for me to re-engage them uh, when I feel like they are enemies. So it does not make sense for anybody with a brain to go and take up a position where you're going to be at loggerheads with your principal and a position in which you will not be able to pretend. I'm not a good pretender. Number three, I make a terrible employee. That's why I went into business. I cannot take instructions. I cannot pretend. I cannot hide my dissatisfaction on certain issues when I'm dissatisfied. And uh, working in government means you work with very senior, respectable people I'll find it very difficult to keep my mouth shut when I'm not happy about certain things. Yet when you're in government and you're serving under presidents, vice presidents, other ministers, you have to know how to constrain yourself. And in our African culture, I would have to be respectful of Manababa, Watinigeti Shandanabo. I wouldn't be able to do that. So I make a very bad government employee. I make a very bad politician because I'm too honest and too open. And in politics and government, you've got to be diplomatic and can't just speak openly as I do. So I'd be a fool to accept a position in government when I know that I cannot restrain myself and when I know that I am going to speak undiplomatically and openly in ways that could cause a problem when working with very respectable dignitaries like government officials. Number five. I want to make money and I will never make money in government unless I get into a government position and then I start doing other things other than my job to try and make extra money. I believe it's unethical for you to take a position and then be doing other things to make money in a position where you're supposed to be putting all your money. Number six, Zimbabwe requires intensive communication, branding and marketing. And that intensive communication, marketing, and branding requires a very good budget. Our government doesn't have a very good budget. I've spoken to people in the position. Uh, I think you know that Minister Mchangwa and I speak very well, very well together. And she has been very clear that there is no budget, so they need people with creativity in that ministry to be able to get some of the communication out. You have to find ways to raise the funds, to communicate. I could never work under those conditions. I have been doing that in our small little business, marketing small and medium companies. I would not want to leave that to go into a government position only to be constrained of resources to again do low, low budget marketing 
in a government that requires very intensive and high expenditure marketing number seven uh, like i said i want to make money there's no way i'm going to make money in a government position i need to grow my marketing consultancy i cannot leave a zimbabwean government job to my children i have seen some government officials or former government officials children who are destitute right now and i wouldn't want my children to be destitute because i was serving the government and not making money while others were making money number eight i am not happy with the government of zimbabwe uh, i've done a lot of work for the government of zimbabwe measurable work that even people who don't like me can tell the work that i have done they've paid consultants half a million and millions in the past but they have never uh, ever uh, given any form of gratitude for the work that i have done i would find it very difficult to work in a government system where the principles are not appreciative of uh, people who can do good work um, i've had a lot of my ideas stolen by people in government i find it very difficult to work alongside some of those people who stole my ideas uh, we are likely to clash you understand what i mean um number nine right uh what else what else what else uh, uh yeah so these are the major reasons why i would find it almost impossible to take a job in the government of zimbabwe remember when you see people like mtuli Ngobe who take positions in the government of zimbabwe they get the option to earn what they want you understand which is what i tried to do when i was being offered uh that opportunity uh last time is that i i told them what i wanted and they thought i was crazy and they said no and so i would not want to work in a job where i'm earning peanuts i've left my job my business and uh i've left my uh, uh options that i currently have oh yeah and number 10 look i'm currently in court against joe biden with simba Chitando. that is huge we are going against the banks that has built my profile in a very amazing manner and i'm unlikely to do that by going to work in the government of zimbabwe particularly if we are unable to redeem its 